Hey everyone, welcome to class. I am really excited about this flow because it actually was a request from someone within the bad yogi community. And she wrote in and she was saying that her experience doing yoga is kind of unique because she's almost completely blind, so she has a seeing eye dog. And when she's practicing, she really, because she can't see everything around her, she can really feel what's going on with each pose. So she kind of wrote in and she was like, this sounds kind of strange, but wouldn't it be cool if you did a flow where your eyes were closed the whole time so that people could really focus on the feeling of the practice and not just what it looks like or what is my arm too high or too low and focusing on the minutia and more on what it actually feels like to be in your body. And I thought this was so so oh, cool, such an incredible way to kind of change our perspective of our practice a little bit. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're doing a really simple flow, but we're turning inward quite a bit. So you don't need any special props. Whenever you're ready, we'll go ahead and get started. For today's class, we're gonna start fairly, well, for most of the class, we're gonna be doing things that you're really familiar with so that you don't get overwhelmed and you don't feel like you're totally lost or too nervous. So we're gonna start actually in child's pose. So I want you to close the eyes and do your absolute best not to open them. So flip over. <laughs> bring your soles, bring the uh, tops of the feet together, heels apart, knees apart, and sit the hips back. Bring the forehead down. Just let the upper body drop down towards the center. Keeping the eyes closed and just focusing on where you feel this. Maybe it's under the arms, across the back, the hips. Take a couple more breaths. And keeping the eyes closed, go ahead and lean into the hands. So you're on your hands and knees and you're just gonna shift your weight side to side. Again, not getting hung up on what's right or wrong or what looks good or what, what, uh, what you think looked good in a picture. It's more just about what it feels like. Eventually find some stillness in the middle. We're gonna come right through to a few rounds of cat-cow. So exhaling, rounding the back, drop the head. Inhale, pull the chest through. And keep going. I will tell you when we're gonna move on. So just find your few rounds of cat-cow here, kind of shifting around if that feels good and keeping the eyes softly closed. So even for myself, I notice that I'm like, squeezing my eyes shut. <laughs> we don't have to work that hard to do that. So try to relax, relax the face. We're gonna take one more each way. Rounding, drop the head. Inhale, bring the chest through. Take your pose back to neutral, so you have a nice flat back. You're gonna tuck the toes under and sit up and back in a downward facing dog. So again, take your time to get there. Focusing on the feels like. Where you notice, through the calves, maybe the hamstrings, the back, the shoulders. And see if you can settle into your down dog and just drop the head so that if the eyes were open, you'd be looking right between the knees. So the neck feels really neutral. And take one more breath in and out right here. And when you're ready, you're gonna step the feet up behind the wrists, finding a forward fold. 
Maybe cross the arms just underneath the forehead and sway side to side. Take a couple more breaths right here. And go ahead and take the hands down. As you inhale, come all the way up. You can reach the arms up overhead and press the hands right to the heart center. Pause here. Keep the eyes closed. I'm just gonna remind you that we're gonna move through a couple rounds of sun salutations, but you're gonna move very slowly. So this isn't a race. This isn't something that you need to move through vigorously. You wanna move really mindfully, slowly, controlled. Just experience the feeling of each pose differently than you normally do. So I'll walk you through it. Keep the eyes closed. Inhale, stretch the arms up overhead. Exhale, hinge forward, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, step the feet back to plank. You can drop the knees for the first one. And as you exhale, lower down right between the elbows. Lay the chest flat. Roll the shoulders back, find cobra. Lift the crown of the head up towards the sky. Exhale, bring the chest down, tuck the toes, sit up and back, downward facing dog. Maybe pedal out the feet from here. And in each pose, you can shift around as much as you like, or you can stay still. Again, whatever kind of experience you want to have in the pose is up to you. From here, go ahead and walk the feet up behind the wrists. Take a nice, easy forward fold. Relax the head, the neck, and the shoulders. If you want to cross the arms, you can cross the arms. Then drop the hands down. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Hands come together. Exhale, fold forward. Upper body drops down. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Flat back. Exhale, fold. Breathe in. Step back to plank. Knees up or knees down. Exhale, lower right between the elbows. Find cobra or up dog. Exhale, chest down, tuck the toes, sit up and back, downward facing. Keeping the eyes closed. You're gonna step the left foot right between the hands. So you might have to feel it out a little bit. <laughs> Drop the right knee down. Inhale, pick both arms up. So finding a kneeling lunge. And notice how your balance is more of a challenge here. Take one more breath in. Exhale, hands come down. Tuck the right toes under, step back, downward facing dog. When you're ready, the right foot is eventually gonna come through. Just between the hands, left knee comes down. Inhale, lift the chest. You can stretch the arms up overhead if you like. A nice kneeling lunge. Hips are heavy, chest is lifted, eyes are closed. If it's too much of a challenge to balance with the hands up, you can keep the hands down on the right thigh. Take one more breath in. Exhale, hands down. When you're ready, step the right foot back, find downward facing dog again. And shift your weight forward slightly, bring the feet together, knees apart, sit back in child's pose, just the way we began. Bring the forehead down towards your mat.
Take a couple of breaths. Keeping the lower body as it is, stretch the left arm straight out overhead, thread the right arm underneath the left, and find a nice easy twist. So the chest and the what would be the gaze is looking underneath the left arm. We're going to switch sides, so again, keeping the eyes closed, unravel. The right arm will walk straight out overhead, left arm threads underneath the right, and take a nice easy twist. Slowly unravel. Come back to your child's pose for one more breath, all the way in. And exhale completely. And eventually walk the hands in, find a comfortable seat, keep the eyes closed. On your next breath in, stretch the arms up overhead, pressing the hands together, exhale them right down to the heart center. Let the eyes open. Namaste. So there you have it, your feeling yoga class. I really hope you enjoyed that one. Now make sure you let me know what you think in the comments below. And of course, if you really loved the philosophy behind this class and you liked the feeling aspect of it, you would love my new program, the Perfect Body Yoga Program. So many people are feeling changed by this and I really think you would love it. So be sure to take a minute and check that out. And of course, I will see you right back here next week. Thank you again for joining me. I know that we already finished class, but I want you to take a second and go on a little mini journey with me. So close your eyes one more time. Now imagine that you're waking up in the morning just like you do on any other day, only this time you feel more balanced, stronger, and you can tell a real difference in your energy and how you carry yourself. You know that you're gonna work out and eat healthy today, but you actually get excited about and look forward to the workouts. You feel that way because now you're using motivators other than the scale and because there's a whole community right there with you, cheering you on, discussing poses, and just being generally positive and motivational. You feel that way today because you feel like you're about to start the best day of your life. You're about to start over from the inside out with self-acceptance and self-love. Today, you decided to join a community of like-minded people and feel motivated and inspired every single day. And for the first time, you're not making excuses of why I don't have time to work out because after each workout, you feel amazing, happy, and energized. Now, open your eyes. If this sounds like the kind of day that you want to live and the kind of feeling you want to wake up with, then I highly encourage you to check out my new program, the Perfect Body Yoga Program. This is the first fitness program that doesn't just focus on a six pack abs or getting a bikini body. This whole concept operates on the belief that the perfect body is simply the healthiest version of the body you already have. But don't just take my word for it. 
I actually created that entire visualization from comments from users just like you who've been experiencing firsthand the effortless change in lifestyle that this program has created for them. But anyway, I won't say anything more about it than that. I'll just leave you with this last comment that I think is my favorite from a PBYP member that I think you're gonna love. She said, Every day, I cannot wait to do the next class. I can honestly say I have never made this kind of commitment ever. I want to do it. I can see me doing this program over and over again. That's kind of a drop the mic moment in my book. And I know that when the change happens from the inside, you know it's a lifelong shift. So do yourself a favor and check out more via the link below and I will see you on the inside. Hey guys, be sure to click below to find out more about the Perfect Body Yoga program. Now, if you want to see what other people just like you are saying about their experience with the program, go ahead and hit pause at any point on the screen to read the reviews a little bit more. I hope to see you on the inside, but either way, I'll see you next Monday for class.